Welcome back to R for Economics. Uh, this time we're going to be talking about some uh, manipulating data and looking at data that may come in what's called a data frame. So first we'll just make an example of data frame. W is equal to data frame. And we're going to say names is equal to, and we'll make a column of names, say Betty, and Freddie and Sammy. Close our parentheses. And then we're going to need some, uh, some properties of these guys. Well, let's go with their high fiving ability. And we'll make that equal to, well, Betty's about average. 50, Sammy's really bad, 25, but Sammy is amazing and always gets 100%. All my brackets are closed. I've now generated a data frame and we can see up in our environment variable that says three observations, two variables. So if I do W square brackets, space comma, if I just run this, it will print out that, which is the same as if I just printed W. Okay, so this is saying, I'm gonna look at this thing. Now, if I want to do something a little bit more and I wanna say, you know what, I just want the second row, I want the Freddy row, then I can get the Freddy row by putting two, because it goes, which row do you want? I want the first row. Which column? Well, it's blank, so I want all the columns. That's like doing a vector going all the way from one to the other. Now, let's say I want, he had only two and three, and that's it. So I get two and three. So the last two column, two rows of this uh, series. If I just wanted the column, I can go square brackets, comma, two. So I just want the the numbers here, and you can see that it just grabs these three numbers and turns it into a vector. Okay. So we can make subsets and we can also do something else. We can also apply properties. So if we wanted the mean of W, but we can't take the mean of names, but we can take the mean of the numbers, the numeric part. So we can find the average high five ability of, the, uh, of this group. Okay, that's it. And we'll see you in the next, uh, next video.